All right, let's see what we have here then. This video from Boss Aviation, by the way, great channel if you haven't checked it out. Content warning, always a good sign. Okay, so this incident happened in San Jose in the United States. Um, it seems to have been a Southwest Airlines Boeing 737 that was awaiting departure. Um, and they suffered something called a hot mic, which the ATC controller pointed out. Now, I want, there's, some, there's so many things that I want to say about this. But the first thing I want to explain is the whole hot mic or open stock mic, as we call it here in Europe. Uh, it can happen for many reasons. For example, you can have a... Um, a technical malfunction of the radio that just opens up the, the, the transmission and in that case it can be a real problem right it can block the frequency on you know a really busy tower frequency for example or departure frequency and because of that it tends to be built in protections inside of the radio that after a certain number of seconds uh, up to a minute i think it will cut the transmission no matter if you are actually holding the mic or if it's a erroneous transmission now in this case he was actually doing a transmission to air traffic control, telling them that they were ready for departure, and then he started off with his rant. Um, and that's indicated to me that he probably suffered either he, without knowing it, he held in the transmission button himself, or who released it and it was a little bit stuck, so he continued transmitting. No matter what, this is not great, okay? Um, first of all, the obvious problem here is of course that he's on what we call a sterile phase of flight. So this is a phase of flight from when you push back the aircraft and then you taxi out, take off, you climb out until you reach your cruising altitude. Okay? And then the sterile phase of flight starts again when you start your descent until you have descent down, landed and taxied in to stand. Now during the sterile phases of flight, we are not supposed to have any kind of non-operational chat going on, all right? We have to focus on only safety related items. So we are actually prohibited by law from talking to each other, from having chit chat during these phases. And of course, if you're going to make a rant like this, which is going to be picked up by a traffic control, and in this case, it's kind of sent out to millions of people via YouTube, you can be absolutely sure that a few of them will actually report this to the FAA. And the FAA will have a problem with this because this is breaking the law. All right. So not only is this pilot exposing himself to some problems with his airline because of the bad publicity that this will give, but also the FAA will get involved in this and we will see what the outcome will be. Okay, uh, another thing that I just want to mention briefly is he, he, he said something like, you're not man unless you're rolling coal. And initially I didn't understand that, but then I remembered that that's actually a slang for uh, a type of modification that people some people do to their uh, diesel engines, where you basically fool your diesel engine into believing that it needs more fuel, which means that as you're accelerating, it will push more fuel into the engine than what's needed, and then it will produce this black cloud of smoke out of the exhaust, okay? Um, I personally do not understand why anyone would do that, uh, unless you are you know, into drag racing or something where this is made in order to, to get more performance out of the engine. It is just a douchebag thing to do, really. 
So, but I, I just wanted to mention that that's what Roland Cole is referring to. Now, maybe the most important thing that I want you guys to get out of this video is that, and I've actually talked about this in a separate video about how to wear your uniform. Whenever you have been employed by an airline and they've given you a uniform and you are getting into contact with passengers, be it while you're walking through the terminal or as you're walking up to the apron to your aircraft during the walk around or when you are working for the airline in the capacity of a pilot, you're representing not only your airline, but your entire profession as well. Okay, so anything you do in your role as a pilot or being perceived as doing in your role as a pilot is going to be you representing your profession. So when someone does something like this and it's transmitted out to the general public, they are going to put a picture out there which is not great for the profession. All right. And this is actually a serious point because we want the, the traveling public to have full confidence in us as professionals. And even though it is completely human to have these kind of rants, if you're sitting with a colleague, you're working together with them for hours, of course you're gonna be discussing things that are not purely operational. But I think it's really important for you to, to, to just remember that you're operating in an environment where there are radios. And this is not the first time that this has happened, okay? In fact, this happened regularly where people are saying stuff that they shouldn't be saying out either over the air traffic control frequency or sometimes over the PA. So a good rule of thumb is that if you just think that everything that you're saying is potentially transmitted, then you will probably kind of hold back those worst rants until you're in a more proper and appropriate setting for it. As a finishing point as well, I just wanted to point out that I think uh, the, the air traffic controller is hilarious here. You, you can see how he's holding back and he's just becoming and being really, really professional about this. Okay, we don't know if it's the captain or the first officer who is the one that is saying this. We will probably never know this. Um, but, but the way that their traffic control is just first trying to stop him, like you have stock mic, you know, be careful what you're saying. They just continue to talk because if you are transmitting, you are not hearing what their traffic control is saying either. And then he just doesn't say anything more about it. There's no more mentioning about it. I think it's, it's really professional by the air traffic controller and it's really, really funny to see. Southwest Airlines has actually come with an official statement regarding this incident. They have confirmed that it's one of their employees that made these statements. And um, I'm just going to read it to you here. So a representative for Southwest said, our corporate culture is built on a tenet of treating others with concern and dignity. And the comments are inconsistent with the professional behavior and overall respect that we require from our employees. This situation was an in isolated incident involving a single employee and not the representative of the nearly 60,000 hardworking, respectful people of Southwest Airlines. They're also pointing out that they're dealing with this internally, which is always an ominous thing to hear when you are the person who they're dealing with. The FAA has also said that they're reportedly investigating the incident and the FAA regulations prohibit airline pilots from talking about subjects that are unrelated to safety conducting their flight while taxiing and while flying below 10,000 feet altitude, which is goes to the earlier points I was making there. And I think this is an important thing to say as well, that you, we shouldn't be judging an entire airline or their employees over what one airline uh, employee does. But this just goes to show how easy it is to misrepresent yourself, your role, your work as an airline pilot in this day and age. Guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you have subscribed. And if you have subscribed, make sure that you highlight the little notification bell as well so you don't miss when I do these kind of reaction videos. I would also love to hear more from you. Maybe you have an incident that you want me to react on or you want to have my opinion on. And in that case, just file that into the comments below or contact me. You can send in a suggestion to news at mentorpilot.com or you can contact me directly in the Mentor Aviation app, which there is a download um, button to down here in the description or in my Discord server. Until then, I hope that you're having an absolutely fantastic day and I see you soon. Bye-bye. Oh, 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 oh,